Hey there, good looking, join me in this upper body metabolic conditioning workout. Now listen, if a metabolic conditioning workout is unfamiliar to you, all that means is that we're gonna keep the heart rate elevated through the workout. So while the focus will be on the upper body, the legs will be used to help us keep that heart rate response so that you burn a ton of calories while we also sculpt the upper body. For equipment, I recommend a pair of moderate, heavy, and light dumbbells, and then a mat if you're on hard surface. All right, let's go get warmed up. Join the Unstoppable Challenge and get in your fittest shape. Kicks off February 1st, 2024. Registration is now on. Hit the link below to join us. Hello there. All right, let's get warmed up. And as we do, I'll chat about the workout. Deal? Let's start down on the ground, warming up into the shoulders and the T-spine. Wide like a ch child's pose, big toes together, knees are open, right arm forward. Take that left arm, thread it under, and then reach it up. Good, do it again. So we have two circuits in today's workout. Each circuit has six exercises, two rounds. In between our circuits, we'll have a minute water break. And then as mentioned in that intro, one more, let's do the other side. We are using the legs so that we keep that heart rate up there. Reach it, extend. Last three, two, and one. Come into all fours, knees apart and under hips, screw the hands right underneath the wrist, extend one leg and then the opposite arm. Reach it, bring it down, other side. Now when we extend the arm, I want you to turn the thumb up towards the ceiling. Once you've seen me, let's get the head down so it lines up with the spine. Warming up into the back, into the core. We're not flinging the limbs out there. We're placing them, keeping that spine neutral. Let's do one more each side. Last one. Beautiful, come into a standing position for me. Hands light behind the ears, hip hinge, and then drive through the heels and come on up. We're learning this hip hinge because I'm gonna be combining a deadlift with a row pattern. So I want you to understand that this is where we come and we hinge from, not from the waistband. Last three, two, now on one, let's hold it down there. One, bring the arms straight out, thumbs up, lift the arms straight up, forming a letter I. Now bring the arms out, forming the letter Y. Now the arms out to your side like a T. Let's do it again. I, Y, T. As we lift up, we're squeezing those shoulder blades together. Core is tight, so we're not feeling our low spine at all. Breathe. Two more rounds here. I, Y, and only bring your arms halfway down, not all the way under the body. Last time, I, and Y, and T. Whoo, hands light. On the temples, feet apart, drop it down. If we can come down low, I'd love for you to give it a try. Knees are gonna trot with the toes. Bum is pushing rearward like you're seeking out a chair. Four more. Lubricating those knee joints, because like I said, we will be using the legs for today's workout too. Last one. Excellent, big arm circles. Let's take them backwards. Really stabilize though in that trunk area. Exaggerate that range of motion. Beautiful, last four and three, two, one. Now open and close. Open and then when we close, we're gonna bring one arm on top and then when we close on the other, wrap the other arms on top. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, a little bit into the wrist, just making figure fours. Now we will be doing some push-ups in the first one, well, all of them, but I'm gonna talk you through it. So in about 20 seconds, we've got a walkout to push up. Now, I'd like everyone to give a walkout a try, but if you don't wanna do the push-up on this round, you'll just drop the knees, hold for a breath, and then come back into plank and walk back up. All right, so let's give it a try. Come to the end of your mat, bend the knees for me. 
Walk out. Now you can do the push up from the toes or the knees or just hold a plank from the toes or the knees. Breathe, elbows are coming in close and pointed towards the back of your mat. And now when we come up, let's reach it and come off of the heels. So you can hold the plank and you can hold it for more than a few breaths if the walkouts are really challenging for you. But I want you to see if you can get three or four of the walkouts in, okay? One more. Grab a heavy dumbbell. We're combining a deadlift with a row on here on this movement. To get the feet shoulder width apart, hands are gonna hold on to the dumbbell post. Now hip hinge for me. Now just take one arm and row, other arm and row. Now both hands on your post and come up. When we come forward, make sure you're not rounding the upper back. You have that neutral spine, just like we learned in the warm up. When you come up, it's just both hands on the dumbbell post. Drive through the heels, stand all the way up. Great job. Breathe. We're gonna grab a lighter pair of dumbbells in about 10 seconds. One more. Let's finish it. Excellent, all right. Grab a lighter pair of dumbbells. Okay, we're gonna take it out to the side and each time we tap, we're doing a press. So make sure you have light enough dumbbells that you can keep the tempo, feel the burn. Now, if you like impact, this workout is all low impact, but if you wanna do impact, you can do that, okay? So, always got that option. Woo! Come, we plant both feet. Oh yeah, press it, breathe. 20 seconds left. March it out. Whew. I'm questioning my life choices on that one. All right, one arm in front. We'll keep the same weight, all right? One arm to your side, side and front raise. Let's keep our body really still, our trunk stable. Now lift the arms, one to the side, one to the front, lower, and then alternate. Now we're just going to shoulder height, Whew. and we're feeling those shoulders. Now, as you lift up, don't get into a habit of turning your body. So we're really rooted, as I mentioned when we first started, and just letting those shoulders do the work and then letting the core stabilize us. Whew. 10 more seconds. Now, the beauty thing about two sets is you can always change up your dumbbells time, okay, for the second set. All right, now we're gonna keep these, or maybe you wanna drop down a little bit, but we have a hammer curl to a press. Yes, another press. <laughs> All right, let's go. Breathe out, right there. Now draw that belly button in. Nice. Tighten up that core. Don't allow those arms to drop down. Control every part of your movement. Now, in about 20 seconds, we're gonna grab even lighter weights to get the heart rates back up with a cross jab pattern. Last one. All right, let's grab some light, light, light dumbbells now. Whew. 
I want you to hold your dumbbells up. You're gonna pivot on one heel, extend the arm up to your side, palm facing down when we extend, okay? And we're being strong with the movement, not flinging the arm. And then you're coming back to protect. Elbows into ribs, hands up to chin. Pivoting that heel as we turn because the knee joint does not like you to pivot and it stay in the opposite direction. Now this is our last one of the circuit. We're gonna take it back to the walkouts and push-ups, or maybe you chose to do just a plank. Not just a plank. <laughs> Out there after the walkouts, it's hard to do. Last three, two, one. Whew. All right, at our end of our mat. Now we're gonna start with the arms raising and coming off of the heel, so we work a little bit into our balance. How did my mat get crooked already? All right, ready? Here we go, reach it, bend the knees, walk out, hold it here, or join me in the push-up. And now everybody walk it back. Good, reach it. Now with the push-up, our hands are just a bit wider than the shoulders. We're really screwing the hands into the floor and then lowering down. And when we do, when we're lowered, our elbows and our head kind of form an arrow shape. My apologies if you do my workouts a lot. I sound like a broken record, <laughs> but <laughs> I wanna cue you so you do the movement right. Whether you've been with me once or a million times. Woo. All right, deadlift to row. So this is where we want that heavy one. Okay, the legs and the back muscles can really take a lot of load here. We wanna make sure that you are challenging your muscles. So let's hold on to the post with both hands. Feet about shoulder width or wider. Now soft knees, come down to your deadlift, row up, row up, both hands on the post, come up. Row, row, drive up. To think before I started recording this workout, I was freezing. <laughs> I had my jacket on. I didn't want to take it off. I'm not cold anymore. How about you? <laughs> and drive on up. Good job. All right. Grab your light pair of dumbbells. <clears throat> We have that jack and press. Again, you can do a high impact if that's where you're at today, if that's how you're feeling, spice it up. I don't wanna hold you back. Otherwise, step, press. Good, now when we step, we're gonna go and put a little tiny bit of a squat. Breathing, keeping that tempo. So a metabolic conditioning workout, it's a little higher rep count. So you won't be able to go as heavy as perhaps you normally do. And as mentioned in the intro, we also keep the heart rate up too. Last 10 seconds. One more time. Whew. Keep those feet moving. All right, we got one arm doing a side raise, the other arm doing a front raise. Alternating, so first, feet are hip width are a little wider, knees are soft, draw that belly button in and just ground, ground yourself here. Good, now both arms up, shoulder height lower. This one is really torturous after the jacks and presses that we just did. But there's always a method to the madness. Believe it or not, filming the workout is the easy part. <laughs> it's up in my office programming one. That's the hardest. Last two. One more. Oh, yeah. 
Whew. All right, I'm gonna try a little heavier for my curl and press. Okay, so now we're doing a hammer curl to start. So keep the palms facing you. Keep that steady, um, grounded stance in the lower body. Curl, breathe, press, release, nice. Ten more seconds, and then cross jabs with light pair of dumbbells, and then we grab a water. Time. All right. Grab some legs. Keep moving those feet. So we've got those arms in that ready position. Elbows in, hands up to the shoulders. Pivot onto this toe, lifting the heel up, and jab. Breathe. Breathe. Good. Knuckles are lined up, palm faces down when we extend that arm, and we're not throwing it, we're placing it. Now you can get a little, little power by really going fast and then coming in. Breathe, good, breathe, you got it. Don't let go of that dumbbell. <laughs> Nice core exercise as well. Last three, two, one. Woo, shake it out. All right, grab a quick sip of water. We're moving on to a new series. The first few moves are down on the mat on this series. Now we're gonna do a push up again. All right, if you really, really don't like push ups, an option for you would be just to either go on the knees and do the second part of the exercise, which we'll be doing, which is that. Okay, or off the toes. <clears throat> we are 45 seconds of push-ups, but we're gonna do that arm raise in between. Now, if you are brand new to exercise, the arm raise with no weight might be a better fit for you. Play around with it, do a rep, see how you feel. So let's get set up with the push-up. Dumbbell underneath the chest, screw the hands into the wards, the floor, come down into your push-up, press up. If you can, come off of the knees, lift the arm up, then the other arm up. Good, and push up. Remember my cue for the push-up during that first circuit. Elbows coming back, head is up. Feet apart, doing your best to keep yourself squared. But this is definitely going to <laughs> challenge your shoulder mobility. So, one more. Time. All right. You can get rid of the dumbbell, moving just into a low back body weight extension. But let's add a little bit of an element for our mid back too. So as we lift everything off the floor, bring your elbows into your rib cage, straighten the arms and lower. Elbows into rib cage, shoulder blades into back pocket, lower. Once you've seen me, let's get the neck lined up with the spine. Chin is tucked in a bit. And we are lifting both upper and lower, but not really trying to jerk ourselves right up off the mat. Working all the big muscles in the low spine now. Come on up. All right, grab a pair of moderate weight dumbbells. We're coming into a high plank, wrists under shoulders. From here, step into a bear. Beginners, drop your knees. 
staying off the knees or on the knees in the bear, row up each arm, and then step back to high plank. So if you stay off the knees, it's really triggering for the quads and the core, but that might not be where you, want to, you are right now, or you just might want to take it a little easier today, at which point drop the knees. But everyone will start in that high plank, hands on top of dumbbells, wrists under shoulders, trying to keep, if you're doing the bear, the knees just a few inches off our ground. Last 10 seconds. One more. Woo, and time. Yeah, that one's intense for both lower and the upper. Let's grab those moderate dumbbells and now face up. In this position, to have both arms facing up, palms facing the knees, drop one elbow and then the other. Now this is a chest press and we've done this a ton of times in my workouts. We're gonna pick the tempo up just a bit. So again, we got a little lighter weight than we normally max out with our presses. And then we're just gonna bring the fire by picking up the intensity. We're standing on the next exercise. All right, roll yourself up. Grab a light dumbbell. Get yourself situated in a squat. So for you, it might be feet shoulder width or a bit wider. Hold the dumbbell at the chest. Now squat down and press the dumbbell to me and lower and come on up, I mean. A lot of core in this workout as well, and not in the traditional sense where you're doing crunches and you're gonna feel those abs burn, but more in a functional sense, where the deep core muscles, your transverse, rector spinae group, all have to participate to hold your trunk stable, while, for instance, you are pressing this dumbbell away from the body. Ooh, hello shoulders. 10 more seconds. All right, grab a pair of moderate. We're standing, we have a two row combo. So what does that mean? That means we start with the palms facing each other. Second rep, you're gonna go wide, palms facing your body. Narrow, wide. Neutral spine, hip hinge, good. Nice and long, crown of the head down to the tailbone. Hinging forward about 45 degrees. We're not exactly parallel to the floor. So the last exercise of the circuit. Now, same as what we did with the chest press, we're picking the tempo up a little bit than we normally do with our strength workout. Not to say we're not gaining strength right now, <laughs> but we just want to keep that heart rate response so that we keep this a true metabolic conditioning workout. Knees soft, five more seconds. We're down to push-ups and reach. Three, two, one, and come on up. Whew. All right. Now again, if you're not doing the push-up, I want you to do the alternating reach with or without a dumbbell on the knees or on the toes. Up to you. If you're joining me on the push-up, let's do the push-up. Come on up. Then each arm lifts, lifts, and down. Oh, wow, my shoulders, this is eye-opening exercise for me. Maybe you as well. My shoulders need some more mobility work. Less than 10 seconds. All right, we got the low back extension now. So this is body weight only, lifting the lower and the upper body while we bring those elbows down. Shoulder blades into back pocket. Chin tucks in, let's go.
Last couple of reps. All right, grab a pair of moderates. We've got that high plank to bear and then row each arm. With your bear, remember, drop your knees if you want to tone it down a bit. Here we go, three, two, one. Walk it in, knees down or up, row, row, step it out. Stay on top of those wrists. Gaze is at that top of the mat. Slow and controlled here. So this one, I don't want you to speed up because it can get really sloppy really quick. <laughs> one more. Woo, baby. All right, chest press. So this is the one where we can speed it up just a touch. All right, you're still keeping your form, but it is easier to keep the form on this one with just one arm coming down and up. Ready, let's go. Breathe out as the arm comes up. Pressing up is the hard part. Back of the neck is long. Good, knees are bent just to keep that low back comfortable. Just focusing on pecs, front shoulder and triceps here. We're standing when the timer goes. All right, rock yourself up to a standing position. Grab that light dumbbell. Get your situated for a squat pattern. Dumbbells here. We squat, press that dumbbell forward. Three, two, one. Good. Now when we extend the arms, let's not round the upper back, okay? We're still keeping that posture even though we're extending the arms forward. Take a look at where the ceiling and the wall meet in your home to keep that gaze up. We're almost there. One more move after this. One more rep, let's go. Woo! All right, grab a pair of moderate. You've got your combo for your row. Narrow and then wide. Let's get the feet shoulder width, knees soft, hip hinge. Row and then wide. Draw the belly button in towards the spine. Tighten up the core muscles. <sighs> Similar to the chest press, taking it just a tad faster than we do on a traditional strength workout. Oh boy. <laughs> Things are on fire now. I am so far from the cold PJ that started this video. <laughs> Five more seconds, come on crew. Last three, two, one, release. Nicely done. All right, don't leave me yet though. I wanna stretch you out and then you can continue on with your day. Cheers. Whew. Okay, now using a wall or a door frame, I want you to position your right elbow at shoulder height, palm facing towards the wall. Step forward with that inside leg. Now come forward and then turn your body and rotate and look away. Really nice stretch to the pec. <laughs> My arm is shaking that's up on the wall. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Ah. 
All right. Now, take the palm now against the wall. If you're able to, your whole body kind of against it, or your arm as close to it as you can. Extend it behind you about shoulder height, and then again, just rotate away. You're going to feel more of a stretch in the arm here, a little bit into the pack. Let's go the other side. So start with the forearm, elbow shoulder height, palm resting on your wall. Step forward with that inside leg, lean forward, and now turn away from that left arm. If you're similar to me and you have a computer job, because that's all I seem to be doing lately, is sitting in front of my computer, this is a really nice stretch. Even if we try to, you know, keep perfect posture, it's really hard to when you're typing um, and you're just not paying attention. So what happens is this little internal rotation starts to happen in the shoulders. The pec muscles in the front shoulder start to tighten. And now we've got some tightness. We're not able to take as deep a breath as we used to. And then it can cause other issues into the shoulders, neck, even into the low back. Now let's bring that arm right behind us, thumb up, coming as close to the wall as we can and then turn away. And release. Come down on the mat to get into the sides of the body here, your lats. Take the arms in a V position, so probably mat width for you. Sit back, and if it feels better for you to have a wide knee child's pose when we sit back, go for it. Forehead to mat if you're able to. Walking your hands forward though, elbows are off your mat. And now let's come on up. Onto all fours, still keep the knees apart though. Lift the right arm up, reach it up and now thread it under the body. Walk this arm forward, or you can walk it around the back and see if you can grab on to the other thigh. Now to come out of it, we're going to bring that arm back up towards the ceiling. So let's release the one if it's behind your back. Press into that hand to help ourselves up. Bring that arm straight up, reach it up, release. Either side, reach it, thread it under, drop down side of the head. This other arm walks straight ahead or around the back, grabbing onto the top of the thigh. Same thing, we're gonna bring this arm up to finish it. Let's release the other arm, place it just in front of the arm, press up, reach up, and back to all fours. Turn the fingertips so they're pointed towards your knees. Sit yourself back so you feel the bottoms of your hands, palms, just start to lift off your mat, stretching into the forearms. Just giving them some release because we we're kind of gripping onto dumbbells for the entire, you know, we're hello, however long we were, 30 minutes of working out. And as somebody who struggled with tennis elbow and golfer's elbow, because I was holding on to dumbbells too often, <laughs> I don't want that for you. So we will learn from my mistakes. <laughs> now, when we peel the hands off, we're going to go backwards with the tips of the fingertips, the very last part to pull off and release. We did it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you're here on YouTube, hey, click that thumbs up button so that this video gets found by the YouTube algorithm. I'd really appreciate it. Now, for those of you that are watching ads free on Over 50 Fitness, make sure you head to our private community and let me know what you thought of the workout.
And for anyone who's not either a part of our Patreon or an over 50 fitness community, if you want to dive deeper and really dial in and hit your goals this year, hey, check out. I've got links to both communities down below. And then on the fitnesswithpj.com website, there's also a video about what the difference is between over 50 fitness and Patreon. Thank you again for joining me. We will see you next workout. Bye.